originally published on January 24, 2019. Military Courts Non-Renewal Renewal, Surge in Terrorist Activities, Model Town Killings, Zardari and Co's Impending Indictment, The Wrap-Up of Sharif's Dynasty, Shaibal Killings, Oil and Gas Exploration in Pakistan Being Torpedoed at the Last Moment, IMF Loan Pittance, Destroying the Economy, Pakistani Rupee Value and Stock Market Nosedive, World Bank and ADB offering additional loans are all meant to create complete chaos and the collapse of Pakistani state gearing towards the denuclearization of the only Muslims dominated nuclear state by hand in gloves, international and domestic players. Allah, SWT, will insult, protect, and make prosperous the second only state created in the name of Islam after Medina. Greater than Pakistan's oil and gas exploration torpedoed exclamation mark. P.S. Today is the 1st of February, 2023. It is an update owing to the current situation in Pakistan. The main culprit is recently retired bastard General Bajwa, who, according to his and his family's leaked tax records, has amassed fortunes while in office for two terms. He has been hand in glove with the corrupt politicians and other functionaries of the government to hide his and their crimes so, thrust them into power by dethroning elected government. He chose a man, who is to be charged with corruption charges in a court of law, to be the PM flanked by a group of 14 political parties all involved in robbing and raping Pakistan for the past 30 years or more. He brought in an absconding man to become the finance minister of Pakistan. Got him pardoned by the corrupt judiciary for the purpose. Who wrecked the Pakistani economy against all expectations? By the way, earlier finance minister, a retired city bank executive and a feudal, was as well appointed after clearing him of his pending corruption case. Pakistan is on the verge of bankruptcy. Foreign interests are watching like vultures to seize its nuclear assets and denuclearize the only Islamic nuclear country, Pakistan. Terrorism has resurfaced in recent months. The current government is trying to silence the opposition through harassment, torture, arrest, and killing instead of quelling terrorism. An investigative journalist got brutally assassinated about a month ago. There was also an assassination attempt against the deposed PM, who luckily survived and is undeterred demanding immediate elections. So far, he, despite being extremely popular, is a lone voice falling on deaf ears the current gang of Rouges, and the military junta, is determined to keep clinging to power even though they have pardoned themselves for corruption by changing the laws of the country under the auspices of the military junta, the chief cause of economic and political degradation, and current situation of Pakistan due to its overarching management role for the past 70 years. Current CNC and his cohorts are not ready to avert the political and economic chaos in the country and are busy protecting the legacy of the corrupt retired generals and politicians. Author Comment slash like slash share slash follow and subscribe. Shakir Mumtaz Author, Thinker, Analyst